Israel's medical services are trained in emergency situations, and a huge cadre of volunteer medics means that help can usually arrive within minutes. But they have never seen anything like what is currently happening in Israel. Raphael, how are your medics handling this? Uh, it's a very traumatic situation for our volunteers. Uh, our volunteers are used to seeing scenes of terror. We're used to seeing a lot of injuries, medical conditions, uh, big and small uh, on the day-to-day -day lives. Um, we, we're trained to drop whatever we're doing in a moment's notice and respond to a medical emergency before the ambulances arrive. Uh, we usually arrive within less than three minutes. This helped us mobilize very quickly on Saturday and by midday, we already had 1,500 volunteers down in the Gaza periphery. Uh, obviously, the first ones to, uh, to be notified were those who lived there in the regions, and they were also the ones confronted with uh, the terror itself. Uh, we had a volunteer who was um, shot and held hostage by Hamas. Another one was killed in the music festival who was providing medical coverage for the music festival itself. Uh, another was injured uh, by a sniper when he was trying to save a police officer's life. Um, so they, they automatically, you know, as soon as anyone knew what was happening, they knew and that they related to dispatch and we got everyone, as many people as we could down there as quickly as we could uh, with 100 emergency medical vehicles, um, as well as 1,500 volunteers. And, and what we saw was, was absolutely shocking. It's in the words of one of uh, the doctors from our field clinic that was set up just outside the Gaza border. He said, I'm seeing scenes that I've never, ever wanted to see that no one should see. But are we saving lives? Thankfully, we are. I've seen some uh, injuries that uh, I would never have thought you'd see in Israel. And this is uh, people being burned. So we definitely had a lot of burn victims uh, from this situation, whether it was explosions, uh, rocket attacks that detonated close to people. Um, as well as burned uh, you know, people who were burned in, in issues of terror itself. Um, those aren't uncommon things. We, we are treated to, we are we're capable of treating burns and we've seen them before. Uh, it's just the scale of violence, the scale of uh, just the horrible um, atrocities that was going on uh, in, in entire communities, uh, in towns, in cities uh, where the residents lived in the Gaza periphery. Uh, that was really the main difference here. It's, uh, it's really the, just the scale and the volume that we were able, we had to deal with uh, at a moment's notice uh, because of the uh, the viciousness and uh, of the attack. And Yair, some of your family members managed to escape a situation where the terrorists were trying to burn them alive, basically. Right. Uh, so. Uh... My, the daughter of my cousin, uh, Idan, she was with her boyfriend and another uh, friend in the shelter in Bayeri when uh, um, the terrorists pushed against the door trying to get into the shelter. And they were strong enough to hold the door so they couldn't get in. And at one point they just stopped pushing and instead they, what seems to be happened is that they put a tire, a spare tire from a car on fire and rolled it into the house. This is a two-story house, so the whole house went on fire. Now, because the shelter is, is very protected, the fire couldn't go into the shelter, but smoke did. And uh, so they called the fire, fire people. Obviously, not nobody can come, but they did tell them, you need to get a, a cloth with water to put on their noses. They said that we have no water. So they told them to pee on their shirts. They put it on their nose. And they stayed like that for hours and hours until they were rescued by the IDF at night. Yeah. So there was they survived. They were many other yeah, many others did not survive and suffocated. They were um, uh, smoke from smoke. Thank you so much for telling us about this. Hold that thought. We need to take a quick break. We'll be back with more.